This video will explain how to configure live video feed in Motion View. There are three ways to configure a camera in Motion View for live video feed USB, analog, and firewire. This video will explain how to connect, configure, and troubleshoot analog cameras. To connect an analog video camera to Motion View, you will need a standard analog compatible camera, an analog cable that connects to your camera, a USB video grabber, and the USB video grabber's driver software. First, install the driver software that came with your USB video grabber into your PC. Now, connect the USB video grabber to your PC. Now, connect the analog cable to the USB video grabber ports. White to white, red to red, and yellow to yellow. Now connect the other end of the analog cable to your analog camera. It should say AV. To configure the analog camera onto Motion View, simply click the Config Cams button on the control panel side of the Motion View software. Now, click the Rescan button on the right side of the screen. Find your camera name from this list of all the registered cameras onto your computer. After you have found it, click on it. You should see live video coming from your analog camera on the workspace. If you do not see live video from your analog camera on the workspace, try changing these two settings. One of the possible settings that is not allowing your analog camera to produce live video feed onto Motion View are that Motion View's video settings do not match the connector settings on your USB video grabber. What I mean by this is, there are two types of video connectors, composite video and SI video. Composite video being the yellow headed wire and SI video being the black headed wire. Depending on what type of camera you are using, it may either use SI or composite video. You need motion view settings to match your USB connector settings. To match the USB video grabber's connector settings with motion view's video settings, simply select from either video composite or video S video depending on which cable you are using. Another setting that may not allow your analog camera to produce live video feed correctly onto Motion View, like this example, are that your video properties are set to PAL instead of NTSC, or vice versa, depending on where you use Motion View. Let me explain. If you are using Motion View in the Europe area, you will switch to PAL and your video will work correctly. If you are using Motion View in North America, like I am, you will switch to NTSC. When you have found your correct video property settings, apply them 
hit OK. You should now have correct video from your analog camera.